master javascript arrays and objects to supercharge your awc components with powerful data manipulation techniques welcome everyone in today's session we are going to talk about working with arrays and objects so without wasting any time further let's proceed with the video now first things first what are arrays and objects now arrays are ordered collection of elements so when elements or values are collected in an order that is nothing but an array and it is basically used in situation where we want to deal with large amount of data it is also known as list whereas objects is collection of key value pairs in one of the previous video i have shown you about objects if you haven't watched that video i recommend you to go and watch that video first but there i told you that in objects data are stored in key value pairs where a value is provided to individual keys now what's the importance of arrays and objects in lwc so it is basically essential for managing data creating components and even handling responses coming from apis basics of array though basics of array is already covered in our html css javascript crash course playlist and you can go and watch it from there here i am going to tell you a few very important basics of array like array declaration so arrays are basically declared like variable the only thing is the value specified in the array is always specified in that square brackets and all the elements inside it are comma separated so array will be collection of all these five elements which have been passed here now to access any array element we use indexes so each element of array is having a specific index starting from index 0 so the first element of the array will be at index 0 so if there is an array of collection 10 definitely the last element will be at index 9 that means the last index of an array is always size minus 1 Now there are some common properties that we basically use to handle with arrays like length property to know the exact number of elements that are there in an array along with that push pop shift and unshift properties are also used with arrays to add or remove elements from the array now key array methods for lwc now there are plenty of methods in arrays and some of these methods we have already covered up in our html css javascript crash course playlist but here i am mentioning few of the other methods and also i will show you a practical example for the same like there is a map method which actually transforms each array element and returns a new array filter method actually filters elements based on a specific criteria and reduce method reduces array elements into a single value so because these methods accept a callback function so i can pass a function as a parameter to these methods and that function will be called for individual element of the array so before proceeding ahead let me show you how you will work with these methods on an array okay guys so here you can see on our vs code i have created a folder array and objects inside that i created a file array intro.html and array intro.js inside array intro.html i am just including the js file and inside this js file i first created an array and then i call the map filter and reduce method on that specific array there i passed to each method some parameters now as i told you each of these methods accepts a callback function so here in these methods i passed the callback function itself as an arrow function now in one of the video i discussed about arrow function if you haven't watched about that you can go and watch that specific video now but if i show you what is happening over here let's talk about that so this numbers is calling this map function and here this map is having this callback so what will happen this map function will pass each element of this numbers array to this callback function that will be this parameter and then it will return the twice of it so this map function is going to generate a new array where each element of this new array will contain double of the element of this numbers array similarly if i talk about this evens what this evens will do now this filter method will pass individual element of this numbers to this arrow function as a parameter now inside this arrow function we are having a criteria we are checking whether the remainder of the number divided by 2 is 0 or not if it is 0 this will return true so all the elements for which 
this arrow function will return true those elements will be returned to this new events array so events array will be having two and four after execution of this filter method and reduce method will reduce the elements of the array to a single value now let me show you the output of all these elements by using console.log now once everything is done i can go to the html file go to the bottom right and click on go live now as you can see in the js file we are printing all of them so if i open the console i can see the output of all of them so i'm right clicking over here and clicking on inspect and click on console so here you can see numbers all the values are printing 1 2 3 4 5 for doubled the array new array is printed 2 4 6 8 10 for evens only even number is printed and for sum it is returning one single value now what is this one single value the reduce function is going to pass two parameters accumulator and number so each element of the number is getting passed where acc is previous accumulated value and num is a new element that is passed the initial value of ACC will be passed here as 0. So what it will do, it will keep on adding individual element of the array to this ACC and then final result will be returned. So you can clearly see how these array methods are working. Now objects in JavaScript. I have already discussed about objects in one of the other video where I have told you how you can create objects directly or with the help of a class and how you can access different members of an object. Today we are going to see how we are going to add, update and delete the existing property of an object. So what are we waiting for? Let's quickly go to the VS code. Okay guys, so here we are on our VS code and you can see I created a file objects intro.html which is calling objects intro.js. There I created a very simple object called person where I assign name and age property with value Amit and 37. Now with the help of console.log, I am printing person.name and definitely it will print Amit over here. Now if I show you the output, for that all that I need to do is to remove the rest of the thing from the URL and click on objects intro.html and here you can see person.name is printing Amit. Now if I want to add any new property to this object, all that I need to do is to call the object name dot the name of the property and whatsoever value I want to give to it. For example, this person.job is equals to engineer and if I save this, now this person object will have engineer as well. Now instead of printing name, I am simply printing person over here. So right now it is printing only name and age and after adding this property which is job, let me print person one more time and now let me refresh. So right now you can see first time it is printed Amit and age 37 next time it is printing amit age 37 job engineer even i can change the value of existing property for example if i change person dot age to 31 and then if i save it now first time the object age is 37 but later on it is 31 and even if i want to remove any specific property i can do that for that i need to call the delete keyword and then after the name of the object dot the name of the property so I have called delete space person dot age. So after that, if I will print the age property won't be there. So that's how you can easily add new properties to an object, modify any existing property of an object and even delete any specific property of an object. Now object methods and manipulation. Now objects have certain methods which can be used for the key and the values. For example, object.keys method is used to return an array of keys and object.values method is used to return an array of values. Similarly, there is an object.entries method which convert an object into an array of key value pairs. It is useful for iterating over objects. Okay guys, so here we are in our VS code and you can see I am having one object methods.html which is calling object methods.js. Here I am having a very simple object person with name, age and occupation with value Amit36 and engineer respectively. Now I am calling the keys method, the values method and the entries method of the object and passing this person object inside it. So let's see what's the output of it. Now here it is showing an error. The error reason might be the wrong reference. Let me check. Yes, here I am calling objects methods.js should be object methods.js. And now you see it is working fine. 
the first one object dot keys is actually returning the keys that is name age and occupation the second one is returning the value which is amit 36 and engineer but the third one is actually returning an array of array so if i open individual one of them so each one is having two elements the first one is the name which is nothing but the key the second one is the value which is nothing but amit so you can see age 36 occupation engineer so you can easily use the entries method to iterate over the object let me show you that so here you can see i am having a for off loop where i am calling object dot entries and passing the person object itself which will return an array of array so i am holding that into key value which is nothing but an array so individual key value will be printed here let me show you that so if i save this and come here you can see individual key value is being printed so these were the different object methods that you can use to work with objects merging and copying objects so when we are dealing with objects merging them merging the existing two objects or copying one object to another is actually sort of the task that you might need to do a lot of time so let's see what they are so merging object means use the spread operator to combine objects so spread operator is used a lot of time in lwc as well i will show you this spread operator we use this spread operator to combine objects even it is used with arrays as well copying objects so we can use shallow copy using the spread operator so this is another purpose of spread operator when we want to copy objects so let me show you how to do that practically so guys here we are on our vs code and all i did was i actually commented out the previous code and i modified my current object now in my person object now i am only having two properties name and age with value amit and 36 now in this line what i am doing is i am actually merging object so there is an object person details and inside that person detail what i am trying to do is i am trying to keep everything that is there in person and then i am also adding few more things so this is one object which is having property job and country and this is existing object so i will merge them and create a new one which is person details here i am trying to copy the person object inside a new object so this dot 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 is nothing but the spread operator which we basically use just before the name of the object and don't add any space between the spread and the object name finally i just printed these three objects which is person person details and copy so let me show you the output of it so guys here you can see the first object is printed over here which is person having name and age with value amit and 36 the second one is here with name age job and country with value amit 36 engineer and india and the last one which is the copied of the person itself at exactly the same value so this is the spread operator with the help of which you can actually copy or merge objects now applications of arrays and objects in lwc so basically one of the most important application is fetching data and storing one of the other use is to render lists in lwc so lwc has a separate for each tag which can be used to iterate over array so we can have an array of objects or simply an array and iterate over that specific array to render a list as in form of components and transforming api data for display so basically arrays and objects are manipulated to format data before rendering in templates hands-on examples so now let's see some practical hands-on examples where we are going to utilize array and objects in websites one of the example is filter an array where we are going to filter an array of products to show only those in stock second one is transforming array data for display here we will map an array of contacts to format names and the last one is merge multiple objects where we are going to merge two user profile objects into one so let's see these three examples practically okay guys so here we are on our vs code and here you can see i created an hands-on.html and hands-on.js so here in the hands-on.html all i did was to link up to hands-on.js inside that hands-on.js i basically called one filter method to filter the products one map method to actually map and create a new output and the last one is to actually merge two objects so these were the three examples we were talking about if you see the products array products array is an array of objects so each element of the array is an object now each element here represents a product like pen pencil paper notebook book and there is an in stock property which is having a value true and for some of them it is having value false 
there is a contacts array which is again an array of objects where individual element is having two properties first name and last name containing the first name and last name of different contacts then i am having two objects one is a profile object with having properties like name age email and is active and corresponding values and a preferences object with theme notification and language as properties and values to them finally what i did was on the products i am calling the filter and then in the arrow function you can see the parameter which is nothing but individual element of the array it is actually checking the in stock value if the in stock value is true or false so all the products with in stock as true will be returned here in the in stock array or let me name it as available products similarly i am having one formatted contacts now i am calling the map function on the contacts array and inside this inside this arrow function where individual element of the array is passed i am taking the first name and last name and i am using one template literal over here to concatenate the first name and last name and generate a new name inside this formatted contacts and finally i have merged these two objects which is nothing but profiles and preferences object to create a new object user now let me print this available products formatted contacts and user now once i saved it i need to see the output for that i will come to this url delete the last point or the file name from the url and here i can click on hands on .html now clearly you can see the first output is here which is available products and only three products it is showing pen pencil and notebook because only three of them were available so this filter method is used to filter down the products similarly if you see in the second one we are having complete name which is concatenated version of first name and last name of all the contacts and finally this single object which is having all the properties age email is active language name notification and theme best practices for working with arrays and objects first of all use descriptive variable names so whether you are working with objects or arrays whatsoever name that you are providing over there use descriptive name so that other developers can easily identify the purpose of that specific variable whether it is an array or an object avoid mutating data directly so always use methods that returns new arrays or objects so this will make the original array and object immutable error handling for undefined or null values so always use optional chaining where we actually use operators like safe navigation operator in apex so such kind of operators can be used which will first check whether the value whose property you want to access whether that original value is null or not if that original value is null it will not fetch the property if it is not null then only it will fetch the property and optimize performance use efficient methods like find method over filter method for single result now that marks the end of this session see you soon in the next session till then thank you and take care